I'm glad our media isn't politically biased and are only concerned in the safety of the American people. They definitely aren't politicizing this global pandemic at all. That's just a right wing racist conspiracy theory. And if you criticize the media, then that just means you're a slack jawed mongoloid. With CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, and NBC leading this country, I feel safer already. Mm -hmm. You know, we're hearing it every step of the way from this administration. First, we were hearing it was a hoax. Then we were hearing that everything was fine. Then we were hearing that the fundamentals of the economy was okay until the crash comes. They definitely aren't politicizing this global pandemic at all. Where's the fact check, Mr. Just the Facts reporter? Now let's take a look at how Just the Facts Tapper interviews and fact checks someone he opposes politically. Wait, 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 wait. What we are know, you talking about? We know he didn't like the president. No, we, we don't Inspector know that. The general says there's an indicia of arguable political bias. That is, that, could, that is Washington speak for this guy didn't like the president. That, that could, let's, actually, let me, let's go into that because I have that up here. Let me finish my statement. You know, as well as I do, that you do not need to have firsthand knowledge to be a whistleblower. And even if- Well, you don't even, now because they changed the form. You used to, they changed the form. There's no evidence of that. And we looked into this. I know you're talking about, you're talking about that Federalist story. It's not clear that that's accurate. And even so, experts I've say- I've seen the it form, has, the date. It has, and we also found out that the White House did, in fact, take the transcript and put it in this secret compartmentalized, uh, then, compartmented uh, computer server. I don't, I don't, I don't know that. What happened with Joe Biden's son? He got paid $50,000, Jake. $50,000 yeah. a month for several years now. And the Ukrainian prosecutor said there's no evidence of wrongdoing. Come on. What? Come on. He's getting paid 50000 and then when the company that's paying him that money mm -hmm. is under investigation, guess what? Daddy comes running to the rescue. The vice president of the United States that's comes running That's not what says, happened. Fire, fire that prosecutor. Sir, that's not what happened. Mm, you know, we're hearing it every step of the way from this administration. First, we were hearing it was a hoax. Then we were hearing that everything was fine. Then we were hearing that the fundamentals of the economy was okay until the crash comes. A couple of weeks ago, the Democrats and their media coordinated on a lie that Trump called the coronavirus a hoax during a rally speech where he was explaining his plan to deal with the coronavirus. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. You know that, right? Coronavirus. No clue. They don't have any clue. They can't even count their votes in Iowa. They can't even count. This is their new hoax. But, you know, we did something that's been pretty amazing. We have 15 people in this massive country. And because of the fact that we went early, we went early, we could have had a lot more than that. We will do everything in our power to keep the infection and those carrying the infection from entering our country. We have no choice. You were down in Charleston last night using the word hoax when talking about Democrats. Somebody now is dead from this. Do you regret that kind of no, talk? No, no, no. Hoax referring to uh, the action that they take to try and pin this on somebody because we've done such a good job. Uh, the hoax is on them. Not, I'm not talking about what's happening here. I'm talking what they're doing. That's the hoax. This was just another pretty blatant attempt by the media to present an out of context quote for the purposes of undermining Trump. The media have tried this over and over. Just think back to when they claimed Trump called Nazis very fine people. Ironically, it's this very type of behavior that Trump was calling a hoax. So all the media really did was prove him right. Sorry to interrupt, but I have an important message for all my viewers. We are facing a global pandemic. Numerous cities around the world are now under a state of emergency. Prepper's Peak is offering a virus safety bundle that comes equipped with a mask, coveralls, gloves and goggles for an affordable price. If you're serious about taking the same precautionary measures as our servicemen and women, and you're serious about prepping for the worst, then you must consider investing in this potentially life-saving equipment. With an affordable price for everyone, Prepper's Peak introduces the ultimate safety suit, which includes a medical grade P100 particulate respirator, bound seamed coveralls, chemical splash safety goggles, and flock lined green nitrile gloves which heavily reduces the risk from dangerous viruses. Prepare now, and at the very least, you'll have the peace of mind of knowing you're ready. Just go to survivewithdronetech.com. That's survivewithdronetech.com. See, he's talking about the media's partisan hype and the fact that they're trying to use this crisis for political advantage. While I do think the coronavirus is a real threat and that we should all do our best to mitigate the spread, it's also very clear that the media are once again using this to try and undo a democratic election. Just like all the previous attempts, except for in this case, they're actually putting the American people at risk. Probably convincing themselves that Trump is an existential threat that requires an extreme response. Tapper actually did respond 
respond after being ratioed on Twitter saying, I thought about it because the president did not call the virus a hoax. But I didn't because he did call a hoax the concerns of those saying that the response from the president was insufficient and that he was downplaying the gravity of the crisis. And that too was a lie. I just love what they call a lie. A difference of opinion to these people is a lie. Getting something wrong is a lie. But of course the standard only applies to Republicans, never to Democrats. His response gives away his bias and his faulty memory away. Just a few months ago, it was the media saying that Trump was fear mongering due to measures he was taking such as travel bans. Just check out some of these article headlines. From the left wing anti-Trump Washington Post, get a grip America, the flu is a much bigger threat than the coronavirus for now. See NBC. The flu has already killed 10,000 across the U.S. as world frets over coronavirus. How about this one from CNN? A deadly virus is spreading from state to state and has infected 26 million Americans so far. It's the flu. Or this one from CNN. Wuhan coronavirus is not yet a public health emergency of international concern, World Health Organization says. Biden slams Trump response to coronavirus epidemic. This is no time for fear mongering. This is actually from one of Biden's rallies where he told his tiny audience that Trump's travel ban response to the coronavirus was quote, fear mongering and xenophobic. Back in January, CNN's highest concern about the coronavirus was that Trump's tax force was too white. Because clearly the main concern during a global virus outbreak break is the level of melanin in the responding task force. Just throw this on the steaming growing pile of evidence that CNN and the other networks aren't worthy of your trust. Do what I do. Get your news from a variety of sources and make up your own mind. Make sure to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.